the topic for today's uh, discussion will be natural resources. First of all, I'm going to talk to you talk to about what are resources. Resources are the naturally occurring organic or inorganic compounds which are present in nature, which it is utilizable as well as these are basically these are holes which can be utilized for further actions. Resources could be natural or it could be manual resources. Uh, among the examples of natural resources, we have energy resources, we have uh, wildlife resources, we have uh, various other kinds of resources like water, land, air, sunlight, etc. So I will be explaining about natural resources today as a part of uh, this program. So natural resources are the resources that, uh, which are occurs in nature. The basic information is that these organisms or these resources are present in nature. The materials that we utilize from nature it can also be called as the materials that we utilize from nature and people cannot more, of course, uh, people can not make more resources, it is, can be, you know, it can be divided from the way it is exhaustible or inexhaustible. Natural resources are extremely essential for all the living organisms to survive, um, like oxygen uh, and water and other kinds of resources. Uh, natural resources can be divided on the basis of whether it is exhaustible or inexhaustible. So, exhaustible resources are those resources which gets exhausted or which cannot be replenished after one use. Uh, these are available in limited quantity. One of the major characteristics of these resources and it can be used up. It is whether or not, not. It also depends on whether how what is the reply, what is the supply of these. Resources. The examples of exhaustible resources are uh, minerals, fossil fuels in soil and examples of exactly the opposite of uh, inexhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources. Inexhaustible resources are resources that are continuously being replenished after one. So, two resources which we can use from the same time, we can use exhaustible resources. Examples are sunlight as well as uh, air and wind and water. All these resources can be utilized uh, or it is, uh, it can be replenished or reproduced after the use. Uh, another uh, basic, uh, on the basis of uh, division of natural resources is on the basis of usability, how whether it is renewable or non-renewable. Renewable resources, again, which can be replenished after so the place after uh, using this renewable resources, uh, so resources may also renew itself or be used again. But renew, uh, renewing may take time. Uh, they might require some time to get renewed or replenished or reproduced. Examples are air, soil, wildlife, plants, etc. Non-renewable natural resources that cannot be replaced after one use are examples of non-renewable Careful minerals, some can also be used. Examples are minerals, fossil fuels, oil, and coal. Uh, kinds of natural resources, these are the few examples. Biomass, uh, so we have biomass, air, wind, soil, water, minerals, energy, and sunlight. So these are the organisms, or these are the not organisms, these are the minerals or resources that. Uh, uh, energy demand is uh, supplied to oil. 
and then gas is for 20.3%, nuclear energy is around 6.7%, hydro energy supplies around 2.3% and combustible energy resources is huge. 11.2% of all the energy resources are sufficed through fuels. And then uh, another in your total primary energy consumption, uh, this is a 2019 data. Here you can see most of the utilization is through coal. Around 58% of the coal uh, is utilized for, uh, uh, for energy supply. Then we have petroleum and other liquids, around 26% of the energy supply is fulfilled through petroleum and biomass. Natural gas, interestingly, natural gas is only utilized, only 6% of the total energy consumption is through uh, natural gas. Most of the times we utilize biomass energy in terms of waste, in terms of uh, in terms of fossil, in, in, in terms of uh, wood, uh, fuel wood, also uh, over uh, uh, carbon cakes is utilized for production of uh, power. And then around 1% is utilized in case of hydroelectricity, nuclear energy is around 1%, less than 1%, and other nuclear uh, renewable resources around 1%. So this is how this is how the world moves in case of energy resources, uh, especially in India. And this is our this is the trend of how these energies will be utilized in the future. Like in the year 2020, our total energy consumption was 654 that means to text power 18 kilowatts of energy, is around 654. And by the year 2030, our energy demand is going to increase by 761, which is around 100 kilo, and now 100 uh, text power 18 kilowatts of energy. So 
they have been formed from fossilized remains of prehistoric plants and animals. And uh, these plants and animals is a good source of carbon and uh, which, which we extract through mining. Uh, through mining, as, yeah, mining is only way that we extract these fossil fuels. They provide around 66 percent of the world electrical power and 95 percent of the total power consumption. How fossil fuels work? Coal is crushed into fine powder and that powder is burned. And through that burning, we burn the food and the water is heated and converted into steam. That steam will rotate turbines, turbines will rotate generators and generator will produce electricity. Uh, this electricity is uh, further utilized by the, uh, throughout the world and this is one of the most conventional foods that we utilize. And most of our power production, most of our machineries, most of our industries uh, rely on this fuel uh, to generate power. <coughs> so coal is one thing. And then electrical power uh, um, can be around, coal provides around 28% of our total energy and oil provides around 40% of our total energy demand. Crude oil is called uh, petroleum. Petroleum is easier to get out of the ground uh, than coal and it can flow along clock line, pipeline. So it is easier to extract petroleum as compared to coal. Coal will require uh, mining techniques. It could be underground oil mining, it could be strip, it could be uh, open cast mining. But in case of petroleum, you just have to dig a pipe inside the earth's surface and you can extract as much as oil as possible. Also, this oil is easily transportable. You can, you know, you can <coughs> put pipelines and you can transport through tank tankers, which is make it so much easy for us to uh, handle this uh, fossil fuel, this mode of energy. Uh, also, uh, very easy to transport. All these fossil fuels is extremely easy to transport. We know that we can eventually have been using it. We know the pros and cons of these oil. So we know how to handle this kind of resource. Natural gas provides around 28%, 20% of the oil consumption of energy and it is one of the cleanest fuels possible. One of the major advantages of using fossil fuels is that we can produce very large amount of electricity through a uh, very uh, small amount of fuel. So uh, you can just you just have to burn the fuel and you can produce as much energy as possible. And it is very cheap as compared to other resources, as compared to other um, the, uh, renewable sources of energy. Transporting uh, oil and gas to other power stations is also very easy. Again, another major advantage of using fossil fuels is that it is easily transferable. Uh, gas fired, pop, uh, gas fired, natural gas powered uh, power stations are extremely uh, power efficient. So you can produce large amount of electricity to a small amount of fuel. Fossil fuel power stations can also be built almost anywhere. So we, as you know, that we are accustomed to this type of technology. We know how this technology works. So it is very easy for us to uh, establish a thermal power plant anywhere in the, anywhere in the uh, country. And uh, anywhere in the country also uh, we can supply constant fuel to that place. So you can establish up to any remote places of the world and you just have to provide uh, for the raw materials. In, the, in this case it will be coal and petroleum and you can supply anywhere. Major disadvantages of uh, burning fossil fuels or using fossil fuels is basically the main drawback of fossil fuels is pollution. Pollution is one thing which is, uh, has become hazardous. It has been affecting the health of the people. It has been affecting the health of the biodiversity and various organisms have been affected by it. Burning any fossil fuel produces carbon dioxide which also contributes to green, uh, greenhouse effect and eventually global warming and eventually climate change. So greenhouse effect will cause global warming and global warming is con will contribute so many things to uh, climate change. Uh, this climate change is happening because of global warming. Burning coal produces also produces sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides and other impurities which are present in the worst quality is that, um, worst problem is that um, 
आप जितना भी कोल को इस्तेमाल करते रहे जितना बुरी क्वालिटी का कोल इस्तेमाल करते रहे उतना ज़्यादा बेस्ट तो देर आर फोर कैटेगरीज ऑफ कोल कोल सो देर इज लिग्नाइट पीट एंथ्रेसाइट एंथ्रेसाइट लिग्नाइट पाइटोमिनस लिग्नाइट एंड पीट ऑल दीज आर द बेसिक वराइटी ऑफ कोल्स पी पीट इज द वर्स्ट क्वालिटी एंथ्रेसाइट इज द बेस्ट क्वालिटी तो ऑल दीज क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्यूल इज द वर्स्ट क्वालिटी विल प्रोड्यूस मोर पोल्यूशन और विल प्रोड्यूस मोर पोल्यूट Another big major problem is oil spill. While transportation there, for there is a possibility of leakage. So leakage might happen, which will eventually create much more problems for us. It is exhaustible and non-renewable resources. Once we have burned oil, it is it's one of the major disadvantage of using fossil fuels is that it is exhaustible. Once we have made it, there is no possibility for us to leak it. Uh, it is exhaustible. It is non-renewable. Uh, we have very limited quantity of these uh, substances in that uh, in nature, these natural resources, and we cannot utilize it once again once it has been used. So one of the major problem of these resources is that you cannot use it because it will take a lot of time. Okay, you need to. We are talking about millions and millions of years which we don't have. Another kind of renewable, uh, <coughs> uh, non-renewable resource is nuclear energy. Nuclear power is generated through uranium. Basic uh, nuclear power is generated through uranium. Uranium is a kind of a mineral which is present in the surface. It is extracted through mining, and uh, these mining activities <coughs> may contribute to environmental hazards. But uranium is considered to be a cleaner fuel as compared to coal and petroleum. Nuclear power produces around 11 percent of the world energy. It produces huge amount of energy. Nuclear power amount comprises uh, around 11.6 percent of the world's energy needs and produces huge, uh, huge amount of energy with a small amount of fuel. So, आपको बहुत ज़्यादा fuel की ज़रूरत नहीं है nuclear energy produce करने के लिए. आपका बहुत कम एक किलो एक किलोग्राम यूरेनियम से आप बहुत ज़्यादा बहुत energy produce कर सकते हैं. Just have to establish A nuclear power plant can supply constant uranium to it, and it can then supply as much uh, as much uranium as much energy as possible, and that too without pollution. One of the major advantages of using uranium fuel is that uh, it doesn't produce pollution; or it is less polluting. Burning fossil fuel, uh, you don't have to rely on fossil fuel for that matter. If you're burning off uranium, if you're using How uh, nuclear power works? How does it work? New, there is a nuclear reactor where uranium uh, is heated. Uh, sorry, uranium uh, uranium is used as a fuel. Heat is generated by the process of nuclear fission, and through that process, uh, uh, the uranium metal is split into two, and large amount of energy is generated. That energy can be utilized uh, for heating for heating water. This water will be converted into steam. Steam will create uh, uh, turbines. Turbines will create generators. Generators will produce electricity. So this is how uh, energy is produced in case of nuclear power. Major advantage of nuclear power is that nuclear power is very cost effective. It is not as uh, expensive as it looks. Uh, nuclear power will produce as much energy as a coal power without creating any kind of a pollution or externality. and also uh, it is very it is not very expensive it does not produce any smoke or carbon dioxide okay it is pollution free it does not cause any kind of pollution air pollution but it do for the air pollution which we will discuss later it produces huge amount of energy from small amount of fuel bahut kam fuel ke istemal se bahut zyada energy hum log produce kar sakte hain so nuclear uh, power produces small amount of waste bahut zyada waste bhi produce nahi hota bahut kam waste produce hota hai and nuclear power is also very much reliable hum log nuclear power pe bahut zyada rely kar sakte hain as compared to other renewable resources because yes it is exhaustible but we have lots and lots of amount of uranium at least for a hundred to 100 years Uh, disadvantages of nuclear power, uh, although not much waste is produced, but waste is produced and it is very, very, extremely dangerous. This waste can be utilized uh, 
may cause water pollution. These radioactive substances may cause water pollution, land pollution, mining might create a huge pollution. Dumping these waste is a huge challenge which can or may, may or may not be fulfilled. And uh, it has to be that these waste has to be sealed up in uh, baggages and it, is, it has to be buried for many many years to allow it to be ready. It is exhaustible resource. Of course, we don't. We do have uranium. We have huge quantities of uranium, but it is non-renewable resource. It is exhaustible resource. So we are going to get over with it in uh, soon, soon in the future. Accidents may happen. So nuclear accidents has become a huge problem throughout the ages since 1986 until now. Nuclear accidents has. And it is impossible to make a hundred percent safe power plant. So safe power plants हम लोगों के पास नहीं हैं और ना ही हम लोग बना सकते हैं। तो हम लोगों को इस तरह से अपने nuclear energy को derive करना चाहिए, devise करना चाहिए कि हम लोग ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा energy produce करें। Of course, we have very bad examples. We have Three Mile Island tragedy. We have Chernobyl disaster in 1986. We had a huge accident in 2011 in Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So all these problems might create a huge problem for us to survive in these climatic conditions. So this is all about natural resources and those natural resources we will discuss two other renewable resources of energy, non-renewable sources of energy we discussed fossil fuels as well as nuclear power plant. The next we are going to discuss about renewable resources in the next, in the part 2 of this presentation. Thank you.